Praise God. Let us go into the, the word of the Lord. Uh, Romans 12. Romans 12. We will just look at one verse. And we will listen to what God has to say. Verse 1 and 2. Therefore I urge you brothers. In view of God's mercy. To offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God, this is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good pleasing and perfect will No kobene data ndabahanura kubwimba bazizi imana ngo mutange imibiri yanyu ibe imaze ibizima vyera bihimbara imana niko kuyikorera kwanyu kogira ikimaze nti mushushanwe n'ivyiki gihe yamara muhinduke gose mugize imitima misha kugira ngo mumenye neza ivyi imana igomba nivyo vyiza bishimwa bitunganye gose amen about transformation. And another another word is change. The real definition of the word transformation. It is a radical change in inner character. Condition or nature. And as we have read in the passage we just read. Paul was writing to the church in Rome. And he said to them, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. But be transformed. In another word, be changed. By the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is and what is good and perfect. Paul told Timothy in 2 Timothy 2 and 15 he said to him do your best to present yourself to God as one approved a workman who does not need to be ashamed and correct the one that correctly handles the word of truth. We have come here today. We have been celebrating seven years of God's faithfulness. God has been good to you. He has blessed you. He has given you increase. He is multiplying you. He is ready to bless you even more. He is not through with you yet. And he wants you to be transformed. To be changed. Your mind to be changed. So that you can know what his will is. As I was just beginning. I gave you the definition. And I said transformation is a radical change. In character. I enjoy talking about character. Because I believe. You can be anointed. You can be a work of miracles. You can open blind eyes. But unless you have character. To carry that anointing. You will go nowhere. Anointing alone is not enough. But character must 
be above charisma. Ariko inges inifati kuya kuba hejuru ying homesi sawizama butu fise. And therefore transformation Pero iminuka is to have a complete change. Nukugira iminu kaburundu in form Munifato in appearance Mukugara Gara and in nature. That's an omri kamere. Therefore let us talk about change. Decay to ya kumindu kare. Somebody has said Harumuni Abuzengo. That does not change his mind cannot change anything. Your change begins in your mind. This is why Paul said Be transformed By the renewing of your mind Do you know friends That everything that we do It begins in our mind That is why it is very important For our minds to be transformed Our minds to be renewed Believers To continue Renew their mind through prayer and the study of God's word. When our minds are renewed, we will look at things differently. Our perception will change. We will begin to have a heavenly. Perception. Someone has said Change is, is as good as a rest However there are many people Who are afraid of change And many people resist change When you begin to talk about change They become uncomfortable But change is Indeed painful, it is ever needful. I have discovered it is normally easy to change houses, it is easy to change furniture, it is easy to change jobs, it is even easy to change churches. But when you talk about changing ourselves it is another story altogether we talk to some women about change they will give you the reason why they cannot change it is because of their husbands talk about men talk to them about change they will give you a reason and say the reason they cannot change is because of their wives they talk about members. They talk about change. They may give you a reason. They cannot change. Because of their pastor. Everybody has an excuse. And because of their pastor. Why they cannot change. Some may even want to blame the environment. You talk to people. About change. And they say it is because of their pastor. To you, since I was born, I've been doing things this way. This is what I am used to. So they do not want change. If you look at the Exodus, one church to the other, you will find that most times women are the victims because they think the church is the problem. Some people even think and the other sisters in the church are the problem. Other people will blame the way they were brought up. But instead of giving excuses, I have come to say to us we must embrace change. We are going to go to our destiny. We must embrace change. Our minds must be changed. We must begin to think like God thinks. We must begin to do things God's way. We must be the name of Jesus. I want to say to you today. You are the person that needs to change. Do you know my 
my friend. Uwezi mgenzi. Perfect environment. Hari kera tiza. Does not guarantee change. Ni cheme na za. Why do I say that? Ni kitu muhi ndo weki bugi bi. Eh mucha mnyani. Perfect environment. Hari kera tiza chani. Even that perfect environment. Esa ni choki la tiza. Adam and Eve. Bara chumi mbere ima na kandi hari heza. Bari mwenye ni. Baha mabgiri sikuwa. Ari kwa ni mabgiri sikuwa. Ari kwa ni mabgiri sikuwa. Ni kuwe lako. Ikituma. Tumaba ina musi. Sugo itari mukia ya chiza. Igi ita ata menyekana. Itani itari mga menyekari kwa bala chumu ya kumana. Kukivza hafza moreno. Turakuja mungwana. Tukagiriza duka vingwana. Tuka wabasa kibinu vijishu chane. Kukivza hafza mungu mge. Kukivza deno. Awa kuna ndia ibitu mafish. You can choose to remain the same. You can choose to embrace change. The choice is yours. A man by the name of Leo. He has said. Everyone thinks about changing the world. But no one thinks about changing themselves. When I counsel men and women. And we are having marital problems. Usanga fsingwa na hizo muruko Ugasamu kama hizo dombele mkone Kwa kido dombele mkamo Igecho sabi tukio kwembe na makosa yabo Sanga haru kwa uka na kwishu na mwusi Alika na mwatu kiweja mitima ya chumwe samurivo Uchisu zumugawe Uchiba zumugawe uti Begi mini wiki no mamaze to the problem that we are going through today. And when they discover what they have done, they allow God to deal with their pride that we know divorce today. Or most people are afraid to change because they know that they will never change. Sanga ba chini minduka. Ba kunda kuido dombera bandi. Kimia mubisika. Ebitu anuata mubinduka. Ni kuna ni wakiwe zimera muri wewe. Kwa sa trafisi vyo. Kwa matuko mukido dombera ndi muno. Igima ni wazada. Where did you eat of the fruit that I told you not to eat? Adam said to God. Adam have given me. The woman you gave me. In other words, he's telling God. We didn't forget to give him a man. I asked you for a wife. Now I go serve the mugore. The one who gave me this woman. And she is the one. No one ever knew her in nature. Who asked me to sin? Ya dumya ngori cha. Asumi da hindi kiu mugore. Why did you do what I told you? Na wacha vugati. Yisoka ni yanzimi chani. 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 Yisoka ni yanzimi Seven fifteen. We see Paul. 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 We Ige tumubona Muroga mirongi minakane Ariko iwa suzu mimere Akimgi rango Begu munu Mubi jewe Bega inda zon habara Mubuga wa gurufu Bakondwa I came to Challenge each one of us. To take account 
moment of your life to retrace your steps take total responsibility for your own behavior take the mirror of the word of God and look at your own life and is what the word of God says and the word will speak to you blessed be the name of Jesus I can to challenge you ask yourself what is in your life that needs to be changed and allow God to deal with it. So one hindrance why people cannot experience change is lack of looking within. When there arises a problem between you and somebody else instead of focusing on the mistake of the other person it is necessary that you take time to evaluate your actions and see what you have done to cause the mess that you find yourself in. Number two, another hindrance to change is always thinking about the past. I have come across people who are tired to their past. They are always thinking about things that happened. And the victims are more women than men. You can easily hear a woman say, say to her husband, you wronged me like this in 2015. And you have done it again. In 2015, they talked about it. They forgave one another. But they are still in their mind. I'm going to challenge everyone who is here today. You must learn to forget the past. It doesn't matter what was done to you. But if you want to move forward and get to your destiny, you must allow yourself to forget yesterday. Yesterday is God and move forward for tomorrow. Glory be to Jehovah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19 The word of God says Forget the past Do not dwell on the past See I am doing a new thing God wants to do a new thing I don't care where you have come from I don't care the obstacles I don't care the obstacles I don't care what your father did to you. I don't care what your mother did to you. If you want to move forward, you want to get to your destiny, you come to that place where you said to yourself, yesterday is God. I will move forward for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a better day. Let's be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone has said if you stay glued to, the, to your negative past your great future can lose its significance. Glory be to God. God says, I will, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do not perceive it. I'm making a way in the desert. And I'm making streams in the wasteland. Glory be to God. Come to somewhere. I don't know about you, my brother. I have come from somewhere. I have come from a place. 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 I have come
Therefore, I know that you have come from somewhere. But God is saying, forget the past. I have brought you from there. You are no longer there. You are thinking about the past. God is saying, I am doing a new thing. I am taking away in the desert. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mani habi chuba hiro. Hanging on the past. Brika ise uguma brika ise. Hinda you. Bizo kumoha. From experiencing new change. Kuzi kumani mindo kasha. You must be willing. Uzo kwa uita goye. Forget the past. Kui ba gira kaisi. Many people. Banu. Cannot even enjoy their lives. Hana shano kule zagu zimabga. Can't even enjoy a laughter. Hana shano kule zagu manya barimo. I see women. Dama na baka yezi. Who are have wrinkles on their faces. Ba fisika yote maso habu kuhasa. And they are only forty five years old. Basnya kama longi na nita nu. Because they are carrying burdens. Kwela kwa visu mtukwa norero. Loads of hearts. Can wounds that were inflicted on them when they were growing up even by their husbands but I have made up my mind what people have done to me God has told me I have doing a new thing but taking away in the West I have no time to think about yesterday because yesterday God has never come back again I have said my mom met my mind I will look ahead oh, I will lift my head so and I know that is where my salvation is coming from oh, Jesus. Yes, I have Hallelujah. Hallelujah Hallelujah You must be willing to forget the past and move on with God Remember you cannot change the past no matter how much you cry no matter how much you fast no matter how much you receive counsel you can never change the past I have come across people who are ashamed of sharing their life story because they think it is a shame Talk about their failures. But since the Lord came into my life, ah, the Bible tells me, even a man being Christ, he is a new creature. Old has passed away. Behold, all have passed away. And therefore, I am not afraid. I am not knowing my past. I refuse to listen. That's the people who want to keep reminding me of my failures and mistakes I have told my sister I will only listen to the voice of God Hallelujah Hallelujah who God says I am because he is the one who knows my beginning and he knows my end glory be to God Hallelujah Hallelujah Hallelujah. Remember, you can't change the past. You can't change the future. You can't let your yesterday you paradise your tomorrow. Ah, oh no, 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 no. Who can make a case? Kawe, jeopardize your tomorrow. You need to understand that you are past life. You could have got case. Kawe, not determine your future. What has happened? If Jabaye has already been done, Jaraba Zakuba, and you can do nothing about it. I need to show that Kubi Hindu. I hear David say, If there was a rebel, he has made endure for a night. At the moment, Amarira, glory be to God. Asha Kwa Mesh. My joy comes in the morning. Every single day of my life, I keep looking for the morning. I remain expectant. I am hoping every day. Tomorrow will be my morning. I will be my morning. I will be my morning. I will cry throughout the night. But I know there is a tomorrow. I will be to God. I don't lose hope. I know there is a tomorrow. 
Kohamari gitondo tejo. Itagi tuma nara gibi angi ramusi. Nasi kwe juari o musi. Kani zogi bi hagi je. Imani hagi chuba hiro. Hallelujah. Change will only come. Imenu kizoza. When you decide. Igu isemgo. To forgive and forget. Kuba bari ano kuiba gira. I was sharing with you yesterday. Nari kwenye bugire sho. What my stepmother used to do to me. If the mukada te angonera. She took her daughters to a boarding school. When they were still very small, so that they can learn and succeed. And I was left at home so that every morning before I walk to school I have to go and fetch water with a 20 liter of water and it used to be made of steel and to make my work easier because I was supposed to go twice I would carry two of them and have somebody put the second one on top and I would walk with those 40 liters of water so that I can get it at home and begin to walk to go to school Sometimes without breakfast While others were enjoying Themselves in school I want to say to you friends It does not matter Because God has the final word God has the final word Because today I believe my life is better Than their lives Gusumu mgamo. Kukwari imana mngijuru. Imani habki chuba hiro. Hallelujah. Nizi na jaye esani chuku chuba hiro. Paul was a murderer. Actually Paul. Wundi Paul. Witness the stoning of Stephen. Tanyi urabzi na ya Stefano. He gave approval. Of the stoning of Stephen, a man full of the Holy Ghost. But when on the way to Damascus, he was surprised to see Jesus met him. And he threw him on the ground. And he said, "Who are you, Lord?" And Jesus said, "I am Jesus." Yes, you are Rahama. Oh, you persecutor of me. Yes, you are Rahama. And you are Rahama. From that very moment, he could not see anymore. But God said to him, Go to Ananias. He will tell you what to do. And so Paul was full of failure. But when he met Jesus, he could not see anymore. 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 The sins behind. And he allowed himself to move forward with God. And he became the greatest apostle. And he in the face of the earth. He was never ashamed of his guilt. Of the terrible things he had done. He began to walk in the newness of life. Blessed be the name of Jesus. You must get ready to pass the gate. To get forward to what God will help you to become. God is in the process, process of making you. When you look at me today, you may see a lot of failures. Maybe the way that I talk, maybe the way I do things. You may not like it, but all I came to tell you is just bear with me because I am work in progress. God is not finished with me yet. I am still in a factory. God is still making me. That's why you say to us today. When you see a believer who is not behaving the way 
say you expect At please bear with them because they are still in the process God is still working God is still working on them God is still working on them these days they will become better so bear with them there are so many people that are accustomed to throw people outside the church because of something they have done but God has taught me over the 60 years over the 60 years I have been in ministry before I got married I was in ministry I was in ministry I was in ministry I was in ministry before I got married I was in ministry I was in ministry I was in ministry I was in in the church, in open air crusades, before the preacher preaches, I began to sing. I was in the youth. I was in the mission team. I, I have been in the ministry for so long. But I have discovered the perfect ones have not yet been born. The perfect ones have not yet been born. That one that you see is so wanting. But that doesn't seem that it will become anything. That may be the one that will become tomorrow's prophet. Leave them alone. They are in God's hands. But I tell you, we began to see man. But in Munzira, being made by God, Yogu Hindu Guani Mana, these days, but in Murugendo, our recover Hindu Gua, but so Hindu Gua, come as clear as gold. Baby, I was saying that in Kinzahabu, and God will use them. Can you marry Zoba Koresha? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Blessed be the name of the Lord. Is it not you, my Mary? Have you true? I don't. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what you have to say? Tell the righteous. It shall be well with you. I came to let you know. It shall be well with you. I don't care what is going on. It does not matter. What you are going through right now. But the Lord sent me to tell you. Don't be afraid. It shall be well with you. Because God is with you. Because God is with you. Because God is with you. God is with you. What can man do against you? Let be the name of Jesus. Another hindrance why people don't experience change is lack of a desire for change. Many people have no desire. But I know one man in the Bible. He makes me happy. He was a tax collector. He was short in stature. His name is Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a wicked man. He used to do overcharge tax. I believe he was shorter than my interpreter. And one day, he heard the news that Jesus was going to go his way. And he had a passion for change. He was tired of being a collector. He was tired of his sin. He said to himself, today is my day. I cannot be a sinner. I have no day. Today is my day. I said to himself, I will go and see Jesus. When he tried to see Jesus, he was too short. I had a passion for change. Glory to God. And because God has he uses brain. He said, if I cannot reach Jesus because of the crowd, I will go on a sycamore tree and I'll climb up there. As I look at the tree, I don't see congestion. I don't see anybody on the tree. That one will stop me because today I have a passion. 
passion for change. I did not go home. Then we came. I must see this man. Oh Jesus. Oh, Zacchaeus ran. He was a wealthy man. 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 He Men have money. When they start having a public opinion, who cares? 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 Darahura na weshona guhaga. When you have a passion for change, nothing can stop you. Nagi shira ukutzibira. Na mudaimo ni ukutzibira. When you have a passion for change, you will do whatever is required. Ukaribi kena wevjos. To experience that change. Kugirangu mi yomhi du kuiwemo. The reason why you have remained. Igi tuma agumye. The way you are. Ukaye nuri. Because you have never. Nikura kutikiz. Had that passion for change. Ugiri gesha kaje ugomba guhinduka. So when he got that on the tree. Baza sejo kugiti. Jesus. Yes. Nobody introduced him to Zacchaeus. Na nuno amugi etu yini Zacchaeus. The disciples did not introduce Jesus to Zacchaeus. Kana ba yisho yisho ni yakupuka Yesu. When he got at the tree, Zacchaeus. Ari kuhuki tia juru. He just lifted his eyes. Yes, yina mu yamaso yogusa. And he said, Zacchaeus. Abra Zacchaeus. Come down. Manuka. And Zacchaeus quickly. Zacchaeus charuka ni moga. Aruruka. I believe he came smiling. This is Raja Tukwenga. The hour has come. For his change. And Jesus said. Today. Salvation. Has come to your house. Today. Salvation. Has come to your house. Because he had a passion for change. You must have a desire for change. You must have a desire for change. You must refuse to be satisfied. With your status quo. Many people are satisfied. With five minutes prayer. They wake up late. They have no time to pray. They pray for five minutes. And off they go. And in the evening they come. They are very tired. They just pray for food. And they say uh, uh, the grace of the Lord. And they go to bed. And they are satisfied with that. You need to go deeper. Move out from shallow waters. Move out from shallow waters. And enter into the deep. You are satisfied with the experience. And move of the Lord. Do you know friends? That what you desire. You will acquire. Whatever you desire. You will acquire. You will acquire. The beginning is the I desire to get married to a preacher. And I am married to one today. Whatever you desire, you will acquire. Now, desire is your engine to attainment. It is the engine that moves you to attainment. Psalm 145 and 19 says, The Lord fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cries and he saves them. The Lord, not the pastor. Atari pastor. The Lord. Uhoraho. Not the deacon. Atari mudi akoni. The Lord. Uhoraho. Not the bishop. Atari bishop. But the Lord. Ari koraho. He has the cry. You have got to come back. The desires. Ninya ninyota. Yaba goroti. Aku bugu to come back. Kwabo. Kanda kabakiza. Zina jima mi di habi chuba hero. Kani. Twenty-one and two. The Bible says, "You have granted him the desire of his heart." Then the Bible says, "And you have granted him the desire of his heart." Then the Bible says, "And you have granted him the desire of his heart." Then the Bible says, "And you have granted him the desire of his heart." Then the Bible says, "And you have granted him the desire of his heart." Then the Bible says, "And you have granted him the desire of his heart." Then the Bible says, "And you have granted him the desire of his heart." Then the Bible says, "And you have granted him the desire of
of his lips. So the problem that you have there is no desire in your heart. Because God is ready to give you your desire. If God has granted other people their desires and he has heard the cry of their lips oh, what you need to do is to have a desire in your heart Proverbs 10 and 24 says what the righteous desire it shall be granted many people don't make progress in their lives because they have no desire for improvement they are satisfied where they are they live in the city Baba Hanu Sagara. But they, they live like they are in the village. They have brought village mentality into the city. But if you are a village material, you can stay in the village. But if you are a city material, you must have a city mentality. You live in the city, so you are in the village. God has brought you from the village so that you can experience better life. Give and embrace change. Give the renewing of your mind. Tell yourself, I am not a village guy. I am a city guy. You begin to dress yourself like a city guy. You walk like a city woman. Confident. Who knows where she's going? She has been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. When I walk, I make no apologies. I walk with confidence. Because I have a father. I have a father in heaven. Who cares about me? Let that be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must stop having. Okay, go ahead, Karika. Village behaviors. Village behaviors. You know when you eat a banana. You drop the pill where you are. Because nobody cares. In the village. After all. There is litter everywhere. When you have village mentality. When you take a shower. You don't use a roll-on. You don't use a roll-on. Uh, Deodora. Deodora. Hey, Roro. Because yeah, in the village, people don't use Deodora. But spray remember, you are in the city. You, you can see the people use Deodora. I know what you are Deodora. Embrace change. You are using Deodora. Now you are going to Deodora. Glory be to God. Iman, you have to be here. Hallelujah. Stop having behaviors of the village. And you are in the city. You are in is the force that pushes you to work the things that you want in life. This is the force that moves you to work the things that you want in life. If you want to live well, you must have a desire. I tell my people in the slime, they also qualify to go to my avenue. They don't have to remain at the second hand clothes market. My avenue. They can buy new clothes. There was a time me and my husband and my children we could not afford any lotion. I would buy the big bottle of Vaseline. That we would use wholesale. The father, 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 the
Data, the mother, the children, and the house guard. Because that is what they was. But when God blessed me, why do I have to buy Vaseline? I had to change my mentality. I to change my mentality. I know the time has come to apply lotion. On top of lotion, I use some perfume. So that when I get into the bus, when I get into the car, I become a problem. I people in the car. People can be at ease with me. Abantu bakora hego turi kumwe. Embrace change. Akiriminduka. Imani habwe icubahiro. Imani habwe icubahiro. Desire. Ugirishaka. Is what opens doors. Ishaka na yuguru migango. For things to begin happening in your life. Kugira ngo itangura kuba mu buzima bwawe. It is not your background. Sikai se kawe cha mamu ko yawe. Your background does not matter. Amamu ko na chavuze. I had a terrible background. So your background does not matter. God giving excuses that your father never taught you. You are now grown enough. You can teach yourself. You don't need your father to teach you. You don't need your mother to teach you. You can take yourself to school. You can read books. You can learn by observation. You can learn by observation. When I go to places, I open my eyes. When I have been here, I'm looking at the broody young ladies. I look at the way they dress. Dress. And I'm going to buy myself and a good young dress. But when I get home, I begin to shine. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going and you will leave it there. By the way, do you know our culture does not affect me? Because when I came to Jesus, I became a new Christian. I belong to the culture of Jesus. I belong to the tribe of the Lion of Judah. So what the Kikuyus do, nothing to do with me. Because I am not a kikuyu. I am a citizen of heaven. First before I become a Kenya. First I am a citizen of heaven. Secondly I am on transit I'm in Kenya. I am on transit. So I live like I am on transit. When I'm going to America. You stop halfway. You stop in France. You stop in Amsterdam. You stop in Germany. And you don't embark. Disembark. You, you don't get out of the airport. You know, even initially you are not going to France. You are just on transit. For two to three hours. You get on another plane. And go where you are going. I came to let you know. You are not a Burundian. Burundi is not your obsession. Burundi is not your dwelling place. Burundi is not your dwelling place. Heaven is your setting. Heaven is your home. But you must behave like heaven material. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the Bible, you have the If you have the desire, God will connect you. God has no problem connecting people. When you have a desire, God will connect you. When I had a desire to get married to a preacher, one of the deacons in our church was very concerned about the 
pastors who are coming out of Bible school and he wanted them to get wives. There were some ladies in the church that were older and they were older and the deacon was getting worried. When a lady is getting to 28 and nobody has said hello it's not very nice. So he organized a luncheon and he organized a luncheon and because I like working with my hands, he invited me. I was only 19. He invited me to come and help his wife to serve the guests. I did not even know who were coming. I was busy serving the guests. And you know, I, I used to like singing. Like my granddaughter. If you want to hear her singing, she is in the shower. Whenever she is alone somewhere, she will be happy. So I was uh, washing dishes, bringing tea. I did not know that my husband was to be was there. He was one of the young men. But he he had had come from Bible school. So he was invited. I did not know him. I was busy serving. I was busy serving. And the man was just looking at me. Like this. When I went, he followed me with his eyes. At the end of the evening, I saw a small note. I saw a small note. I would like to see you. I would like to talk to you. Because I had a desire to get married to a preacher. God connected. God does not have a problem to connect you. You want to go to America? God will connect you. But do you have a desire? Desire will break you away from mediocrity. Tell them the best that you can. You know Africans have a problem. They do things have hazard. And the first thing I notice when I go places how people are doing things. I notice because I like to learn by observation. And I look at things. And because I have eyes and they are open. I'm not, I'm not blind. So I see things. So I go to the place I go to the are doing things. My stepmother taught me. If you are making a bed, make it properly. If you are washing a cup, wash it properly. If you are sweeping a house, sweep it properly. And that is why I have what I have handed over to my daughter. Even doing things haphazardly. When I give people responsibility, I ask them whether they will do it well. If they are not sure they will do it well, I would rather give somebody else. Because I don't believe in mediocrity. A child of God, we are the ones who will set the pace. For the world to follow. Because we are children of the light. Glory be to God. There are many people who are stuck where they are. They have no desire for change. They have gotten used to the routine. They are satisfied. You know sometimes when I am tired I need a change it doesn't have to be money you can move it to there and that is changed. That is changed. If your bed faces like this, then yes. For goodness, you can you can turn it to visit. That is changed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Some people Haravandi vanu. sit in the church. Here after year. Even when the pastor announces there will be a visitor. They don't hear. They don't listen to the announcements. They don't support the program. They don't propose them either. They are just there. Uh, they say, I'm a member of a certain church. But if you ask them what is going on in that church? Oh, I, I didn't hear properly. Ah, snap to be sent as you come in. I hear properly. Where were you? What were you thinking? Why had you gone to church? Beg a quake, you are here, Crushing. Properly, you should not have come to church. You are quite a crushing. You have to manage. Some people come to church, but they still have their phones. The preacher is preaching. And they are still doing this. I always feel like I will grab that phone and hit it to the wall. Because why did you come to church? You should have stayed home and enjoyed your phone. If your phone is so important, you should stay home. Why are you on your phone? 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 Why Preaching their uh, life. Members are remaining the same. They have no desire to become better. John Maxwell says, if you keep doing what you have always done, what you have doing, what you always done, what you have 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 is to live life without dreams and without desires. If you get married to a man who has no dreams, Paul is a A man who just came home, they eat, they wake up and go and work, they never keep you down. You down and tell you you know the dream I have for my family. The dream I'm having for my family. I am believing God that in the next three years we will have bought our plot and the next other three years we will build a house. My wife will be praying for me. That is the dream. And as you are sharing that dream heaven is hearing that dream. Heaven is listening. And heaven will make sure that your dream comes. But if you have no desire God is not a gate crusher. Somebody has said the poorest man in the world is not the man who does not have, sing, have a single coin in his pocket. But the poorest man in the world is the man that lives without visions and without dreams. Me, I'm a dreamer. I'm not a man, but I am a dreamer. I dream about things. Sometimes I don't get sleep. Because I am dreaming about big things. And what I can do, I do. My husband will tell you that. Glory be to God. You must be a dreamer. Some people have no dream. They are just dreaming. They are just dreaming. Even if you are renting a house today. You qualify to dream about building a five-bedroom house. You qualify. Stop disqualifying yourself. Napoleon Hill says what you can conceive and believe you can achieve. You first of all conceive it. It, it is built in your mind. You believe it in your heart. Then it is God's business to manifest it so that you achieve it. I don't know when you look what don't know what when you look at yourself. What do 
do you see? Because life is short. Kuko, sorry. Life is short. We have been given 70 years. Eh, I'm already 71. And if you are strong, 80. I want to ask you a question. By the time you hit 70, what would you have accomplished? What would you have accomplished? In the ne next five years, what do you want to have accomplished in the next five years? Those are the questions you need to be asking yourself. Where are you going? Where are you taking your family? What do you want for your children? What my son Bishop, when he finished from four, he said to me, I don't want to go to university. I want to be a businessman. I told him, the world needs wise businessmen. From four is not enough. During your age, you'll be doing business with people with a master's degree. So I did not go to university. You must go to university. I did not give back to fools. You must go to university. And there was no choice. He is a master's degree holder. I spoke it into his head. He loves business. He is still an animal farmer as much as, as much as he's a bishop. Now he can do whatever he wants. But I wanted him to get me a degree. Because I did not have an opportunity to have one. Hallelujah. Amen. When your children don't do good in school, what do you tell them? When they bring those marks, what do you say to them? My son, the, the, the second one, was usually afraid of showing me his marks. And I would say to Moses, these grades do not determine what you are going to become. And I used to say to him, you are university material. I see you becoming a great man mm. in Africa. And I spoke it until he believed it. I was prophesying to him. Mothers, learn to prophesy to your children. Never call your children a fool. If you call your child a fool, a snake begets a snake. So if your child is a fool, then you are the big fool. But when they don't bring good grades, tell them you are going to university. Tell them you are going to make it. And they will believe you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Max Dupree. Max Dupree, Max Dupree says Yabuzati, we cannot become kuba, what we need to be by remaining what we are. Baba if you have a dream of becoming, Yakuba. then you must ask yourself three questions. What do I want to become? When do I want to get there? How shall I get there? What? When? And how? Write it down. When you have a revelation, write it down. And wait. Because God will bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, change will disorganize you. Friends? It will change. It will cause you to leave your old styles. If you have a desire for change, there are 
people you'll have to say goodbye. People that you cannot go with. Because some people are satisfied. You can disconnect your people yourself from negative people. People that are always negative. When you tell them you have a dream of doing this, they can't be able to do that. They begin to ask you, what do you have now? You don't have to have anything. Tell them I have God. I have a big God. I believe Him. I know it will happen. Glory be to God. I know it will happen. Glory be to God. Negative people always see problems in life. Even when the doors of opportunity knocks, they complain about the noise. Some people are nephew of Abraham. He failed to tap the anointing on Abraham because of being carried away by greed for material things. He ended up separating himself from his spiritual authority from his spiritual covering and he missed everything including his wife his wife became a pillar of salt because of misdirected priorities lost everything. Many of us we have the opportunity to tap from the grace of our spiritual covering that is with us. But because of the desire to have other things we miss the opportunity and we remain the same where we are. In some families, the spirit of failure seems to take control. But remember, you are not under a curse. I tell my people in Huruma, when you see one thing, one negative thing, Happening to two people, three people in a family, you cannot take it for granted. You need to fight it. You need to be intentional. And deal with it in the spirit because it is a stronghold. Why should three beautiful girls be born in one family and none of them gets married? Sometimes they are educated. Others have babies at home. The mother had a child at home. The daughter had a child at home. The granddaughter had a child at home. Child at home. You don't take it lightly. Begin to deal with it in the spirit. Fast and pray. And break that stronghold. And fast and pray. And break that stronghold. Stronghold. And say it will stop with me. I will be the last one that will suffer this mess. I just came to announce to you. You qualify to be the first man to build a stone house in your village. You qualify to be the first woman to have a big business in this city. There is nothing wrong with you. You qualify to be the first pastor. To build a cathedral in Bujumbura. There is nothing wrong with you. You qualify to be the first man to build a cathedral in Bujumbura. There is nothing wrong with you. You qualify to be the first man to build a cathedral in Bujumbura. There is nothing wrong with you. You qualify to be the first man to build a cathedral in Bujumbura. There is nothing wrong with you. You qualify to be the first man to build a cathedral in Bujumbura. There is nothing wrong with you. You qualify to be the first man to build a cathedral in Bujumbura. There is nothing wrong with you. You qualify to be the first man to build a cathedral in Bujumbura. There is nothing wrong with you. You qualify to be the first man to build a cathedral in Bujumbura. 
is confessing I can't do it. Hey, I'm not good. I don't know. I don't like people who tell me I don't know. I like when people say show me. Show me how to do it. But some people feel satisfied. Just because to say I don't know. And they leave it there. I look at the person again. I don't know. I'm trying to see whether they can get I am looking for. I can see my desire to you know. Yes, you may not know. But I don't know. But if you show me, I will appreciate. You must allow yourself to be a student. Every single day of your life. Be a good listener. And and learn by observation. Observation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never speak negatively. No kavu give no bibi. Words have power. Ama jambo visu shobosi. They are creative. Ama jambo ararema. One time. Ge kimwe. I'll finish with this. Kanda rangiza kuri iki. One time. Ge kimwe. I wanted water. Na shaka mazi. In my compound. Murugo guanje. I told you I was carrying water on my back. And I said to God, when I get married, please Lord, save me from carrying water on my back. And so when God gave us a home, there was no water. And the tank we built was leaking. So I said to God, I am created in your likeness and in your image. You created the earth and everything we see and behold with the word of your mouth. If you are a creator and I am created in your image then it means that you have given me some creative power. It means I can say things and they can come to pass. So I went to my compound and I looked at one corner and I said there is water here. There is water here. And I told my husband get me somebody to dig and I said there is water here. Because there is water here. And he asked me on the rocks. You get water on top of rocks. I said there is water and here. Get somebody to dig. And he brought me people to dig. As they were digging. Ten feet there is nothing. But, but mama, are we really going to get what I say and then you dig? There is water. water. They went to twenty feet. Surely do you think we will get? I said there is water there. That's where the mud is. I remained consistent. Because I believed. I am a creator. I can say things. And they will come to be. And I say there is water. And there must be water. When they continue digging. At 39 feet. And I it, uh, uh, 39. 39 uh, feet. What a gust out. How about it? They tried to Amazi remove the water. They tried to remove the water. So that they go deeper. They could make it. Amen. Amen. That is the water. Do you know what they did? They drank at redeemed gospel church. I bought that water. Pure and clean. Yeah, yari meza kandi asuku ya chani. I believe I am a creator. I still believe I am a creator. I can create things. If I say there will be a house there. It doesn't matter whether I have no money. There will be a house there. Because I have creative power. God is a creator. And I am made in his likeness. We must be a creator. 
believe the word of God. When you read the word of God, believe it. Act upon it. And you will see things happen. Glory be to God. What you confess is what you believe. Amen. Amen. Is what you possess. Whatever. Whatever. If you are of those, your confession will be your possession. What do you confess every day? Many of us cast ourselves every day. We are poor. We don't know. I am old. Today, if I started saying I am old, I'll begin walking like an old man. And I'll begin talking like an old man. But I don't. I know. I am old. At 71, I'm old. And do I have to go thinking old? I used to think old. I read books. I keep my mind active. I read news. I know what is happening. 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 I Blessed be the name of Jesus. Human, human beings can change their but lives by changing their attitude. Change your attitude. Your problem is your attitude. If you can change your attitude. You can change your life. Be hopeful. Be expectant. Things will get better. There was a time we used to eat only cabbage. I could not afford anything else. I gave my children cabbage every day. But they were not sick. I gave them cabbage every day. That is what I could afford. But they were still healthy. So, I, 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 because I believed good health is a gift from God. It did not come from food. Even if it would come from food, the rich people could not get sick. But they have money. They have all the good food. But they still get sick. They still die. But good health comes from the Father. And therefore, whatever, whatever God gives you, enjoy it. Enjoy this life. It is short. Before you go home, you can enjoy here so that you can enjoy there. And if you want to enjoy here and there, you must desire it. You have a passion for change. Every single day, learn something new so that you can be useful in the kingdom of God. I want to call Bishop. Come Bishop and pray for the people. Hallelujah. May God bless you. Thank you for listening to me.